All right, Neon Sundown, let's check this out. Also, it has an epilepsy warning. I've turned down the bloom and light to hopefully reduce that a little bit, but if you have epilepsy, just don't ever watch this game ever. Don't take the risk. Anyways, for those of you that don't have epilepsy, let's keep it going, right? Oh, the abyss. Sure, that sounds great. I don't know. We're, we're going in basically blind. Uh, the duster, jack of all trades, sounds great. Um, all right, so WSD to move. Saw that in the main menu settings here. I watched some of this place for a few minutes, but didn't actually, I didn't actually uh, like watch a crazy ton of it. All right, so these guys are dropping a little XP. I guess we gotta go pick those up here. Looks like these ones don't shoot projectiles at it, so... From when I saw this game... Oh, what's this? You have a lot of levels up in this. Uh, bullet spread. Reduces bullet spread by 25%. That's not bad. Infliction. Increases damage. That's good. A huge pulse knocks back enemies. Let's get the pulse. That sounds cool. Oh, well, that's the XP coming towards us. Looks like the XP, like, comes to... Like, makes its way to us from a pretty, uh... Respectable distance there. Or maybe just, like... Does it just, like, pick itself up over time? Uh, over time, it just comes and gets us for free. It just takes a few seconds. Uh, range, torpedoes, torpedoes, yeah. More about torpedoes, that's nice. So we'll get, uh, it's your typical, uh, you know, it's like, as far as like, you know, scaling, you have to start through easy monsters, you get harder and harder ones. Usually it looks pretty good. Uh, additional layer of defense, weapon cooldown, uh, let's get more, yeah. We'll overclock these weapons so I can shoot my little torpedoes faster. I'm not gonna worry about picking up XP, it does it for me. The blue bar in the top middle is my XP bar, I'm at level three in the top left. All right, so the blue numbers below that are, you know, how much XP I have and how much for the next level up. Crit chance. I'm not sure what that's all about. I guess as we... Oh, as we get more XP, we, our chance of getting trickle hits goes up. Increase all weapons cooldown, more torpedoes, more damage. Let's just get a uh, overclock so things just shoot faster and faster and faster, right? And we worry about dan uh, danger, damage later, perhaps. On the top right, we've got uh, a timer of how long we've been in this. There's phase three. Okay, so first phase of the triangle, second phase was the saw blades. I wonder what uh, the third phase introduced. I'm not sure. Oh, like these grouped up triangles. Burst mines. Places down mines that explode on impact. Decrease all weapon cooldown. Uh, XP. Ooh, XP gain. Yeah, let's get that XP gain going up faster. It's got a pretty good feel. Uh, I do like the constant leveling up, although it does kind of like... It's so frequent, it kind of messes up your vibe a little bit. It slows down as you get farther run, I'm sure. Uh, endless Barrage of Shurikens, that sounds cool. Yeah. Oh, so it's just kind of like... Are the Shurikens just like... So the Torpedoes and Shurikens just shoot randomly, okay. I mean, it all adds up, every little bit helps. That's fine. So I wonder if the phases are based on time. Crit Chance card increases critical... Oh, and it's gone. Neon Scythe, rotating... Okay, that seems pretty cool. Rotating Scythe that slices through enemies, yeah. Right-click to redraw, one remain, or skip draw, cool down. Okay, that's kind of neat. We like this. Oh, we got like a new unit there, a little tank guy. Okay, I'm chilling. So far, it seems like a pretty chill game. I'm liking it. It's my first time playing it. Yeah, let's get that side then a little bit closer to really chew through those guys. That's not bad. So we're, at, we're curious, is it like every 30 seconds you get a phase or is it based on levels? See, it's phase four. At two minutes, do we hit phase five? Neon scythe damage up, overclock. Increases cooldown right in the shriek and get those going, right? Spam out shriek and still in phase four, so not sure when that changes, but... We're chilling a little bit. Are we zooming out more as the time goes by? I don't know. Shuriken's overclock pulse increases range by 35%. So I'm not sure what this pulse is. I don't I don't recall seeing the pulse. Also, you can press shift to dash. I forgot to mention that. It's multi-shot. Did I pick up an upgrade? Oh, multi-shot XP. Okay, so you're not only are you getting XP for levels, but you're also getting XP for like other things. So I'll get uh once I get 1500 XP, we'll get to multi-shot. Shuriken's infliction. Uh, burst mines. Place down mines to explode impact. Let's put down burst mines. Did I right click? I didn't mean to right click. Whoops. Um, increases. Or did I get two? I don't know. Um, uh, damage. I might have. I might have right clicked on accident. I didn't think I did, but maybe I did. All right. Well, I guess we drew, we redrew a card. No big deal. I want those burst mines though. Oh, XP gain. Yes. Always get XP gain. Oh, we got a big fast fella here. But when we hit them, they seem to slow down. They take damage. Okay. We're chilling, we're vibing. I imagine if this becomes like a thing on the channel, it's gonna be pretty like, the first time we play it, we're gonna be talking a lot about the gameplay and choices and whatnot, but as we play the game more, it can become like a pretty easy game to uh, just kind of like, just be like a, a, a banter game where it's like chill and talk about stuff. Crit chance, neon scythe, split shot. That's a split shot projectile, but it reduces fire rate. Split shot plus two, cool down. Okay, yeah, uh, I'm all about it. 
So what's what's this split shot? I don't. I feel like. Oh, I see. It, it's. Uh, I thought it would give you like multiple projectiles. No, it's just um. What's doing is it's it like bounces off. It's like ricochet. See how it's like splitting when it hits nothing over there. Question: Does it split off of them? I think it does. Just hitting other guys. Bullet spread reduces bullet spread, increases damage. Uh, get the shrieking stronger, maybe. I'm not worried about bullet spread. I feel like with this many enemies, you're always gonna hit something. Ooh, multi-shot card increases. So, oh, we're unlocking new cards in the run. So now I have a chance of getting uh, a multi-shot card in my next like level up, if we're lucky. Power crystal. So like, we're unlocking new cards during the run. Or if they stay unlocked forever, or if they're just like in the run. If it's in the run, it's kind of cool. Um, do we want another split shot? Or uh, decrease all of them's cooldown. Let's do oh two in deck, one in deck, one in deck. Neat overclock. So that's kind of neat. Uh, there's only like a you have a deck of cards. Oh my oh oh boy oh yeah okay. It's scale and difficulty. Ha <laughs> ha. The difficulty has scaled. Oh god, I need more like uh, oh boy. Earth taking damage. That's not super great for oh oh god. They're fast, and I am not somebody who's renowned for having amazing reflexes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> all right, the chill vibes have disappeared. We now have. Stressful, chaotic vibes. Like this, who did this to you? Um, hmm. I need like better fire rate or something. Shurikens are kind of, I feel like the shurikens were kind of a waste. Weapon damage, XP gains, XP gain. Oh my god, get away from me! I feel like something like faster torpedo firing. The shurikens, like maybe they help a little bit, but for the most part, they're not doing a lot to help me with the little speedy boys. We've got a nice break from the speedy boys. You're in phase eight now. It's like a phase every 30 seconds on average or so, maybe? These are chilling on the speedy boils. Alright, that's not so bad. These guys are chill. See, this I like right here. Nice, A nice chill vibe where, like, you know, if you pay, if you have a lapse of focus, you can get lost. There's a boss. Okay, there's bosses. Did it? No. Alright, we'll deal with you first. Where's this boss at? Um, probably making their way towards me, right? Took damage? Torpedo damage up would be good. Uh, XP gain? XP gain... Yeah. XP game, we're playing the long haul here. Oh my god, okay, it's, there they are, and they, okay, it's the first one shooting projectiles, so we need to just kind of like keep cycling around it and keep trying to not get hit by its nasty projectiles. It's trying to, oh my god, I gotta deal with these guys first. We need more damage, but XP gain though, but XP gain though, okay, we should start working on damage. We're kind of falling behind in the damage department, listen, hey, oh my god. I'm trying to like circle around it and avoid its shots, but we're, like, we're, yeah, my, my neglecting damage is starting to prove problematic. Um, mm, increased damage by 50%. Do we actually grab burst mines? Where are these burst mines? I don't know where they're at. Oh, I forgot we can dash. That's that's actually rather important. Oh my god, how am I supposed to kill this thing? When, oh my god, 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 oh my god. Okay, we're dead. It's fine. We keep it going. Time survive, XP collected, enemies destroyed, bullets fired, all kinds of stats. Okay. Okay, if we went too hard on the XP gain. We've learned our lesson here, and we'll go in again, I think. And, uh, you gotta get level, f you gotta level up and stuff to unlock stuff here. Triangle, health 2, damage to speed. So we unlock new things. Oh, we can, oh, we can start at higher phases? Let's start it, so I can, let's start at phase, can I start at phase 7? Uh, we'll use the duster, sh wait, power modules? I can equip power modules, so there's, oh, there's all kinds of stuff to unlock here. Neat. Alright. Oh, it does not let me start. I, I said survive for 10 minutes, so the goal is to survive for 10 minutes. So I did not unlock, so I did not start at phase 7, so maybe it just lets you see what the phases are about, not actually let you uh, choose. So the goal is to survive for 10 minutes. Additional layer of defense. Um, how, do you, how do you even tell what my hit points is? Crit chance, bullet spread. Alright, we'll, we'll, I guess we'll go for bullet spread. Not that I... I feel like with my bad aim, bullet spread actually helps me, but... Of the, of the cards I had there, that's the one I chose to go for. Yeah. Need to get... Uh, Maybe, like, dumping into torpedoes would be good. Yeah, uh, oh, speak of the devil. Uh, pulse. I don't feel like the pulse did anything. Unleashes a huge pulse that pushes. Oh, I never pressed the right click button for my. Oh, I'm dumb. Um, torpedoes. I forgot you can, like, uh, right click uh, is probably how I use, like, the burst mine, the pulse, and whatever. And I just never, uh, actually r hit the right click button. I can use, uh, shift for dash, but it needs much either. We're learning. We're learning. The first time. Oh, hello. Um, bullet spread, neon scythe. I don't feel like the neon scythe was that useful. Um, bullet spread, I guess? I don't know. I feel like bullet spread's not that important to upgrade, but I keep getting it. Probably get some more torpedo and homing stuff, right? To help with the little guys that rush in me. Maybe? Just like, just 
constantly up the bullet damage and the torpedo damage, perhaps, would be the wise life venture here. Torpedo damage, yes. Get those torpedoes nice and strong. Torpedoes give me the wins. What's the saying? I don't know, I forgot. Um, but yeah, we're here doing our thing and we're gonna try and level up. I was about to say something, I got distracted by level up, which is tragic. 15 damage, or 1.5. Torpedoes decreases cooldown, nice. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, get them, get that sweet, sweet uh, torpedo action. We're relying on its powerful homing capabilities, although it is kind of missing a lot there. So how much damage? So how much does this hit? Does it hit? It hits for 15 or 1.5? I'm not sure. I think I'm hitting for 1.5 and it's hitting for 15. Torpedoes add piercing. Yes, yes. Now we're making the right life choices. Torpedo power. Tor torpedo domination. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh, I was gonna say, but I forgot. Um, but I remembered. So when I do these random games on the channel that are like these new any games that are uh, not really uh, uh, just like a little too frequent with the upgrades to be honest. Give me a chance to actually like play the game for a second every 10 seconds upgrade. Um, decrease all weapon cooldowns by 15%. Uh, additional layer of defense. Bullet spread. All right, fine. Just reduce the bullet spread. Not that that's a huge deal, but I feel like if I get that enough, I'll get better options. But yeah, um, when I do like an indie game like this that like I'm not sure that if it's going to get views on the channel. The first video I, pu I put out is usually just kind of like me learning the game. I could easily like practice the game first and have the first video be me knowing the game. Ooh, power crystals. Receive 5x each power crystal. I think that's like, I think that like carries in between runs. Multi-shot. Ooh, increases ship projectiles. Safeguard. Let's go multi-shot. Uh, oh, ouch. Oh, it is, it is too. It's just they're like really, uh, really close together. It's multi-shot, but there's... Oh, it's because I reduced the bullet spread so much. Maybe it's a, I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, to be honest. Maybe multi-shot combined with reduce a lot of reducing bullet spread. Not great. I mean, if it increases the damage overall, maybe it's worth... I don't know. We'll figure it out. I mean, it's still doing 1.3. It doesn't decrease that much. That's so probably like 2.6 compared to 1.5. Increment overall. I don't know. Torpedoes, damage, nice. Um, But yeah, when I do a, a game like this... The uh, problem this game is like you give an upgrade, have to make a decision every 10 seconds on upgrades, so I don't have time to like finish my train of thought. <laughs> when I play like it, the game like this, I put the, speaking of which, about to get another level up, right? And I can't even have a, my train of thought completed. It's not, maybe not a great game for banter with every 10 seconds I have to make a decision. Um, probably good for gameplay, not great for commentary, right? Uh, Shriekens, meh. Pulse, meh. Uh, additional layer of defense. I guess more having more hit points would be good. Oh, yeah, 21 plus 5 is not 26 health, okay. So increases your max health, not your current, maybe? I don't know. But yeah, um, this this game, it's uh, it's like, so the first time I played, I just kind of like, just like, a, it's like a first look, let's try thing. And then after that, we'll just like keep doing more and more videos as I get better and better. And just like, it'll be like fat. The first video will be like the slowest paced one. Multi-shot, sure. Um, be more damage overall, I think. Yeah, I think that does do a, a cumulative increase of damage overall. Like, it reduces the damage per bullet a little bit, but the, the fact that there's another bullet, like, more than compensates for the decrease in damage, I think. So you're doing more damage overall. Yeah, actually, I'm doing 1.1 damage per, but it's, like, three times. We're up to 3.3. What is that little crystal there? I'm exploded. I'm not sure what it's all about, but we've got it out there. Multi-shots. Increased damage on all weapons at 15%. Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. And I'm doing 1.2 times 3 is 3.6 per shot in the... Torpedo is now stronger too, which is good. What's these little crystals all about? They explode. I feel like we're having a need more. Oh god, not these little speedy boys. All right, but yeah, the videos are just. Uh, it's like the first one's just like, hey, we just kind of chill and play the game. It's a little relaxed. Let's try. And then with subsequent videos, it'll be like more like you know, faster. Like I make my, my decisions faster because I know things better. Um, safe card, XP gain, split shot as a split shot projectile reduces fire rate. Um, or hit points, because we're going to take damage, I'm sure. Excuse me, big guy. The big guy's actually kind of fast, too. Just uh, not quite as fast as these little fellers right here. You guys are just absolutely the worst. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Oh, my God, you're the worst. You're absolutely the worst. All right. I think that's about it for them. That's a nasty wave right there. Got to survive 10 minutes to get past the arena here. And get something different. These guys have a lot of hit points. I feel like my damage is a little bit lacking. Or torpedoes. I guess to be fair, I put a lot of points into torpedoes, so I do have a dash. I need to remember I have a dash. The dash would have been pretty useful against those little speedy boys. Like keep your distance away from them. Maybe like stay kind of close to make it. Oh, 
fingers. Oh my god, oh my god. Listen, listen, listen. Oh my god, listen. I need you to stop everything that you're doing. Oh shoot, that does it blow up and do damage? I don't know. Do the torpedoes over here. Listen. I don't like you shooting at me. Ouch. Yeah, I think this is a better strategy. Use the dash to avoid damage here. Oh my god, listen. Alright, you're a problem. You're a genuine... Oh. Uh, Multi-shot pulse shriekens. Yeah, multi-shot. All right. Okay, more from that side, huh? I see, I see. Oh, keep going this way. Chill, my bro. Torpedo, save me. Save me, torpedoes. Boss battle, best battle. I think we're figuring out a strategy here, though. Oh, God. Okay, listen. Oh, my God. I'm like, are you, you're, you're joking. I want to kill the boss when I can't even get past, like, the enemies. Listen. Listen. I guess it's roguelike and... As we unlock, oh, maybe we need to unlock that explosive thing. So you guys are kidding with this. You're absolutely joking. Like, again, it's a boss, but I need to actually be able to, like, hit the boss. <laughs> I need to be able to hit the boss. It's the kind of thing that matters, you know? How am I supposed to fight the boss if it's surrounded by a billion enemies? <laughs> uh, pulse safeguard. Uh, scythe. Yeah, I'll take the safeguard. Give me more, like, torpedo damage. Uh, so you need to, like, up my DPS. I need to unlock these explosives. Maybe those are what I need to deal with, like, the, ah, I need to like scratch my face. The massive amount of enemies we're facing here. Need more XP. Maybe they just like this is one of those roguelikes where it's just kind of like you gotta like grind and die a few times while you unlock new uh, weapons, kind of thing. Maybe I just need to like be patient and not die, and we'll get like an easier wave. Oh my god, an easier wave. Get past all these uh, guys here. XP gain, shriekins, crit chance. Oh, uh, mm, XP gain. I guess XP gain, not worry about crit chance. I don't like to rely on crit chance. Maybe that's a mistake. Maybe crit chance is really good in this game. Listen, you guys are very quick and very big and very tanky and very angry. And uh, I'm going back to circle strategy. Maybe that's, maybe that's a mistake. I need to, like, return. I don't know what these little things they drop do. It's like if I shoot them, they explode and do good damage? I don't know. Maybe going this way is good. Oh. I wonder if this game has a mechanic where, like, if you go too far away, they respawn on the other side around you. The inside split shot, maybe... So, maybe the split shot will actually be, like, our saving grace here. Oh, my God. All right, listen. You need to eat a proverbial uh, chill pill. Got some little speedy boys going here. Need to take out this dreadnought. His projectiles are... Oh, man, I keep having to, like, scratch my face. I'm all, I'm all itchy. It's like a nervous thing. Like, you get like, oh, God, you know. Got to scratch your face, rub your nose. We got a lot of uh, little projectiles on the screen here. Uh, listen, the, the the dash is quite useful. Uh, infliction damage on weapons? Yes, please. Oh my god, uh, it's one of these games where like if you get like an upgrade that pops up the wrong time, you can easily like take damage that you might not take otherwise. Fortunately, that is our that's our life. Need to unlock these explosives for the next runs. Maybe that'll carry me. Where is this? Is does like the pulse? Does like the dreadnought have limited range? Where's my music at? Or if the, the Dreadnought has limited range on his weapons, because it doesn't seem like he's reaching me with his weapons here. Yeah, the music stopped. Where's the music at, yo? Next begin. Uh, Pulse. Maybe I should try this Pulse secondary. Oh. Maybe it is alright. Where's the cooldown for it? Maybe, maybe, maybe it is uh, worthy of using. There does seem to be like a lack... Uh, eh, I mean, it's alright, actually. I feel, I feel like there could be... I think I've gotten so far away from the Dreadnought, his, like, projectiles don't even reach me. Away from me, Foul Fiends. Maybe the Pulse is okay, actually. Now that I actually know how to use it. Oh, no. Chill. Yeah. Got a bit of a cooldown there. Uh, hey, we unlocked Explosive. Bolts explode on Impact. Nice. Um, split shot. Where's my music, yo? Do I need to turn on my own music when I play this game? I mean, that's something I could do. Safeguard. As in, could be a glitch, actually. Additional layer of defense. Shuriken's split shot. Maybe it's taking me too long to beat the boss, and that's why. Wait, phase infinite? Oh, we're in the last phase. Uh, split shot. So we need to make ten... So, oh, we've gotten to the final phase, and all we need to do is just make it to um, the ten-minute mark, and then we unlock something new. Maybe the music stops because you're not supposed to last this long? Or it's like just work in progress, perhaps? I wouldn't mind killing the Dreadnought there. That'd be pretty nice. Oh, listen. Pulse. I think the pulse could actually be pretty important, per se. Fear Factory. Is, oh, is that like a new unit we're gonna unlock? Um, XP gain. Sorry about the lack of music, but well, here we are. Split Shot Pulse increases range. Um, split Shot. Although the pulse may have been a good choice, too. Get really boxed in there. Where's this Dreadnought at? I don't even know where it's at to, like, go find it. 
Oh, it's over here. Oh my god, and we're dead. <laughs> got distracted by his projectiles and ran to those guys right there. Accept your fate. Okay, music, please. I should always hear music when I'm playing a video game. Unless it's Minecraft or something. Alright, uh, let's go back in again. So we unlocked, uh, so we're still in the abyss. I need to get 10 minutes to, um, to get this going. Uh, this just shows you the phases. Don't let you, doesn't let you pick the phases. Um, wait, unless, unless it, can I, can I just like go up here and just like click this face somewhere, somehow like select it? No, it just shows you what's there. I haven't unlocked the power modules yet. I don't know how to unlock these power modules. Probably have to like level up more, right? Perhaps? We'll figure it out. Survivor 10 minutes. We were so close last time. I should go for XP early. I don't know. I feel like uh, all the car points I put into spread were at, like a waste. I feel like I'm better off. Like I want the bullet spread. Burst mines is secondary. It's all right. Secondaries require more thinking. Crit chance. Fine. I'll go for your precious, precious crit chance. I mean, actually, I guess if crits are as f like I'm seeing a lot of crits actually. Like I guess I guess if crits are this frequent, then it is useful. In most games, crit chance are like, you know, every 100 hits, you get one crit. And if you upgrade, it's not every, like, you know, every 50 hits, it's one crit, not even worth. The inside, not sure if that's worth. Um, split shot? Hmm. I mean, if, if crits are, like, crazy frequent in this, this might actually be... Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of yellow crits here, so maybe crits aren't so bad in this one. We do, like, crit chance. We also have explosives unlocked for this run from the last one. So that's something we can worry uh, we're not worried about we can use. Um, bullet spread, I'm gonna pass on that. Um, burst mines, place down mines, put an impact, shriekins. These shriekins are not that useful. Let's go burst mines. How frequently can I put them down fairly? What did I just, what did I just take damage from? Did I hit something? Wait, can I, wait, can I, can I hit my own mines? Let's go find if we can hit our own mines. No. Maybe if they explode, maybe if like I'm near them when they explode. Let's try it, let's try it. Um, increased damage, infliction. No, it doesn't see. My mines don't seem to hit me. Can I just like hold down right click in the auto place? I can, so I can just hold down left click and right click. All right, that works. Not sure I love having to constantly hold them down, but it works. Um, pulse, increased damage, increased knockback. Let's get damage and everything. What happens when you have more than one secondary weapon? I'm curious. Is like, do they override? Do they go simultaneously? I feel like these burst mines might be kind of nice. Do they, do they like, uh, like explode over time? Increases damage and everything. I'm all about it. We like damage. Damage is good. The burst mines are actually kind of crazy good, actually. We should have gone burst mines all along. I don't love having to hold down left click and right click simultaneously forever, but it's not the, not the end of the world. Uh, torpedoes. I feel like the torpedoes weren't as useful as I wanted them to be. Um, maybe go for the neon side and just like upgrade that a lot like it, it does like it's actually pretty good so maybe it's probably like a, a nice little uh you know little like a little a holy bible protector um if, or garlic armor if you have played vampire survivors you'll know what i'm talking about there in that game didn't mean to right click that that was an accident oops sometimes my hand rests heavy on the right click on the light it's a very sensitive mouse that like just the slightest touch clicks it explosives bolts explode impact but increases cooldown yeah i'm all about it i'm all about it Let's, let's see it. Let's see this explosion there. There it is. Yeah. All right. We gotta keep. Uh. Well, I, I feel like that. Ex I feel like that explosion is gonna make this a lot easier when they're like really grouped up between that and my burst mines. It's gonna be great. I don't love having to constantly hold right click, but uh, for the to get my bur proper burst mine value. But it's fine. Uh, Neon, more damage. Yep. There we go. What? Where's my music? There it is. Good. This is one of those games where like. It does a thing where, like, when the menu pops up, it, like, adjusts the music volume or something like that. What if I can, like, turn that off? Um, ship coloring, damage numbers, music pitching. Yeah, turn that off. Maybe maybe the music pitching is what that was. I didn't like it. It's scratch. Imagine if you had to, like, stay still the entire time, right? Uh, increase orbital speed. Yes, please. Yes, please. Why am I so itchy today? I'm all itchy and scratchy. It's because it's like I'm playing a reaction-based game, and I'm used to playing, like... Chill, Territorial I.O., all that good stuff. It's nice and mixed up, though. I do enjoy games like this. Wish people like watching it so I can play more. Um, split Shot? Sure. That seems fine. So the Split Shot is basically... It's, it's more of like a ricochet than a Split Shot. Oh, no, it's a Split Shot like when it hits or explodes at the end of its arc. If it hits an enemy or it's like... 
decays into nothing, and it'll then split into two. Which will help with uh, just random hits on other people. More damage, XP gain, split shot, uh, knee and scythe. I want this scythe to be like just clapping cheeks. Because this is going to be my like line of defense against me uh, being sloppy. I remember I can dash. If I'm sloppy and things get too close, knee and scythe will save me from some. Good chill here. Are my like... Are my like ricochets... Are my split shots doing this much work that we're... Three minutes in, we have barely any enemies on screen. Oh, I see. Let's just up, oh, get out of here. Take it easy, my friend. We're chilling. We're vibing. Hmm. Torpedoes. Hmm. Hold a second. Had to meet the mic and clear my throat. Uh, ne neon side orbital speed up. Yes, this neon side is going to save me from a lot of damage. 100%. And the burst mines will help too, for sure. Yeah, it's going to help me with these little, a lot of these little guys. Some will get through, but. It'll help. I, I find going one direction is uh, pretty beneficial when dealing with these guys. Just keep shooting to the left and they get closer there. Just do a little yeet pass and you're good to go. No yeet. And uh, you're able to heal it. We'll fine there. Yeah, we, we, got, we got the strategy unlocked down here. And the side is a must have, I think, for compensating for my lack of skill. We like games that are like casual gamer friendly because I'm not an elite gamer. All right, that's the end. That's the end of the speedy boys. We start like chilling, get more value from our little mines here. These are tanky boys. Oh, crit chance, multi shots. Uh, let's get that that crit chance up. That, yeah, that crit's actually kind of kind of great. Crit chance, best chance. That like really ups our uh, overall DPS with the occasional crits, especially if like it's our mine that gets crit. If our mines get crits. I feel like our mines get crits sometimes. Not paying attention. Yeah, I think I just saw one going. Dreadnought. Oh my god, listen, brother. Listen. Okay, oh my god, oh my god. Alright, listen. Um, XP gain, safeguard, crit chance. I need to take this guy out before it comes. I need to take this guy out before, like, the waves get so strong that they're, like, protected. Although, my minds could easily just kind of, like, get the job done for me if I. Oh my god. I need to, maybe just go to the left and, like, slightly back and forth and just let the minds do the work. Honestly, this is actually a really easy way to, uh, like, dodge him. Yeah, this is, like, way better. Um, bullet spread, no. Crit chance, safeguard, crit chance. Yeah, this is actually, like, a much easier... And we got him! There we go, that's a strategy. I don't know what this green crystal is, but we're shooting it. Let's just, like, touch this green crystal? Oh, God. Uh, I can touch it without taking damage. Can't pick it up, though. Maybe it's just the... It's, it's like, dropping explosive or something. There we go. It'll make it easier to get to the, uh... Whoops, hello. Uh, more damage, yes, please. It's gonna, there's music. It's gonna make it easier to get to ten minute mark without the dreadnought sneaking up on us. Makes it a little bit easier get the ten minute mark, and then we can uh, progress onto other levels, and other arenas. I think it might make this an hour long video. Like the first one that probably won't get too many views, anyways, because I'm spending too long like learning the game. People don't like to watch you learn the game; they want to see somebody's already learned the game. Um, <laughs> split shot. They want to see somebody already knows the game. It's kind of boring to watch somebody like, ah, here we go, figuring it out for most people. Some people don't mind it, but most people are like, oh my god, he, he takes so long to decide what card. There's a lot of people watching you've already seen other videos where they've, uh, or like they've played the game themselves. And, uh, Infliction, yeah, damage. Damage, baby. The damage up in there. Alright, let's, I don't know what's up with these little things. Those, like, do they have, like, XP? I don't fully know. Do those little crystals. Ah! Fear Factory Arena. We launched a new arena. Let's go. Ooh, teleport ability unlock is up next. So this is like, these are perma unlocks. Bolt spread, pulse, split shot, I guess. I want to know what these are. I think they, I think it's like amplify your damage or something is what they do. It's pretty cool. I think the little exploding, the, the, the burst mine was actually like, like a pretty solid choice. I think we're backtracking to other burst mines we've seen before. I guess we max out the scythe. Um, multi shot? No, infliction, yeah. Keep upping that damage. Yeah. Need to scratch my neck again. We're getting all focused up and whatnot. But yeah, I'd love to see if I can get some more games going on the channel other than just like Territorial IO. And it's tricky to find uh, other games because most people that like Territorial IO on my channel, they like, um, they like map games. And the thing about map games is there's not that many good map games out there. Um,. Uh, XP gain, safeguard, multi shot. And most of the map games are like exceedingly complex. They're like Hearts of Iron 4 and 
I just don't, I just genuinely don't enjoy, like, these really complicated grand strategy games. It's just not really my thing. I like, my games, I enjoy some strategy, but I don't enjoy the level of strategy where you spend, like, 90% of your time just, like, in menus. Um, torpedoes, burst mines, ooh, yeah, yeah, burst mines. I enjoy some thinking of some strategy, but I like to spend, like, a significant portion of my time actually playing the game, not reading the game. And that's why I feel like grand strategy games like Hearts of Iron 4 are, they're like, you spend most of your time reading the game rather than playing the game. Which, if if that's what you're into, that's fine. But personally, I'm like a... Ooh, um... Let's go for... do 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 Overclock. I'm a... I'm a... When I want to read, it's, I'll go read a book. When I want to play a game, I want to play a game. When I want to watch TV, I want to watch... You know, I don't like a whole lot of... I don't like a ton of... I don't like a ton of cutscenes in my games. I don't like a ton of reading in my games. For me... I'll, for the most part, there's exceptions, but for the most part, I prefer to just be actively doing something when I play my games. You know? I suppose, like, waiting or reading or watching. You know? If I want to watch something, if I want to, you know, I'd rather watch TV than watch a cutscene. I'd rather read a book than play a game where I spend most of my time reading. Just my own personal preferences. Um, multi-shot, yeah. Gotta make that 10-minute mark, and then we're good. But once we get to the 10-minute mark, we just, like, go ahead and, like, just, like, dip ourselves out here. I feel like we're getting strong at the point where we're kind of like, it's going to be, oh, oh, I almost get hurt there. It's going to be pretty easy to like body our way through this because I think the phase infinite, like it's no longer scaling in difficulty. So it's really all about hitting that 10 minute mark without dying so we can unlock uh, new things. As far as like this, the things I'm unlocking, like the teleport, ooh, teleport card, teleports your ship to your cursor. I don't know if I want that per se. Uh, pulse, safeguard, overclock. Um... Overclock. I don't think I want the pulse. War is gonna override my bombs. Ooh, the dual reaper. I'm gonna unlock that. The question is, like, should I just like I'm farming in so much XP. Even once I hit, once I hit the 10 minute mark, should I just like keep going on the run to like uh, just keep farming this XP, or is this are these like XP things I'm unlocking? Are they gonna keep unlocking the next area, or are these like item specific weapons? I feel like they're probably not. I'm taking a lot of damage here because I'm just being genuinely sloppy. I feel. I don't feel like the monster's really scaling differently that much. I'm just being a sloppy boy. These little grouped up five of the tough guys are tough on teleport. There it is. I don't really want that. We'll replace burst mines. Aha, you can only have one secondary. Pass, free draw picked. Um, torpedoes, safeguard. We are taking damage here. Give me some, uh, give me some, uh, health. Am I re Do I regenerate health over time? I, I don't think the picking up the health gives you free heal, but I feel like we... I saw my hit point bar there, and it didn't look that empty, even though we've been taking a lot of damage. Okay, there it is. Okay, yeah, maybe not. Maybe we're tripping. I you know those little crystals they dropped did. Did they, like, amplify my damage? Alright, so we're doing pretty good here. We're almost at the 10-minute mark. It actually does feel like it's scaling in difficulty a little bit, even though we are... Maybe the infinite... Maybe the infinite mode does scale in difficulty, because I do feel like we're upping more a little bit here. Just come on, another, like, 25 seconds. We can do this. We got this. I'm just, I mean, I think it is actually scaling in difficulty here. I thought we were like chilling. Maybe it does just give you more more shriekins safeguard. We'll I'm take that safeguard. Yeah, we're only 15.2 health. It doesn't regenerate. Over does regenerate over time. It's very slow. Yeah, we're gonna keep dipping away this way. It's getting kind of dicey. And uh, honestly, we might just get pushed out regardless. Come on! No! 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 Are you? No! <laughs> it was three seconds away. <laughs> it got so hard all of a sudden. Oh, you're joking. You're actually joking. Come on, man. All right, uh, I'll keep it going. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, we unlocked it. So, like, what was this 10 minute run thing? Well, you unlocked the Fear Factory, so let's just try this out. Triangle boss on phase one. So it's like a harder start. I want I need to like, get to level 10, okay. Am I like leveling outside of it? How do I get, uh, like, I want, I want to try these power modules. How do I get those? Is there, like, somewhere in the main menu that shows me these power modules? The store! Oh! The store! Use power crystals to purchase power modules. I've been earning... Oh, those are power crystals! Those things that they drop and I've been shooting, those are power crystals. Okay, so I do need to destroy those. Um, let's see, what's this one? Far sight, increase your ship viewer range. That's kind of nice. Um, movement speed and dash speed. XP gain. Uh, ship XP gathering range. Also, there is a limit on it? Um... Safeguard, starting armor, okay. Uh, steals hit points from Emmy when killed. Ooh, siphon's good. Uh, stun uh, regeneration, also good. Let's get uh, just get regeneration for 10 green crystals. Nice. 
Why did my music? Why did the music get quieter when I did that? I thought I turned off music pitching. It's weird. Um, viewing range, mobility. Uh, let's get let's get movement speed. Actually, some of these fast guys are a problem. Yeah, it's it, hold on a second. Let's turn maybe turn the music pitching back on. Um, what we got over here. Infliction. Ooh, more damage is good. Bullet lifetime longer. Meh. Decrease your ship weapons cooldown. Add one pierce in each projectile. I think that's actually later on be pretty good. I'll start with just like damage though. No, still doing that. Alright, let's let's not do. Alright. Alright. So now I know that. Next unlock. View levels and unlocks. Oh, so every time oh, so every time we unlock one of these these things, that's like a level. Okay, I gotcha. Well let's not spoil it, huh? Keep going and try out the fear factor. I'll come back to that 10 minute run later once I'm stronger and it'll be easier and guaranteed win, right? All right, let's uh, give this a shot. Fear Factory. Uh, as we do get more levels, we unlock more units. Gotcha. And we get equip. Pop. Oh, I can only have four equipped. I see. You can only equip, or this guy can only, or five. So let's give you um, level one. Oh, it doesn't tell me what it is in here. That's a bit. Give me a tool tip to hover over and see what it is. I, th I think that was movement speed. I guess you can just learn. This is um, this is regeneration. And this is um, a damage increase. Okay, just gotta remember it. You only have five on there. All right, survive for ten minutes. So you have your goal. It seems to be the same goal regardless. I feel like these guys are faster than the last arena. They, I feel like definitely are. Explosives is a good get there. Yeah, these definitely feel faster. I guess scale and difficulty, right? XP gain. Maybe one XP uh, teleport split shot. One XP gain early, right? Because we got the explosive early, which is pretty good. Pretty good damage, I think. Listen, speedy boys, I need you to calm. Um, burst mine, torpedoes. The burst mines were pretty solid. Let's get them. Not that I love holding down left click and right click simultaneously for the entire run, but they were pretty solid. Um, increases damage is, or yeah, yeah, let's get increased damage on those. They're pretty solid boys, although I, having explosive on my bullets also kind of serves a similar purpose. Multi shots, uh, teleport. Honestly, Invest in a little bit of XP gain early so we can like really level up fast later on. I feel like we're got a strong early start here with uh, explosives and burst mines. Let's just farm some XP, right? Full spread split shot. Uh, burst mines. Let's get me all this sweet, sweet XP. It does feel good to like pick up yourself, you tough boys. Um, burst mines. The crit chance also solid one to get eventually, right? No, excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, I appreciate if you uh, cease and desist from your violence. Crit chance, multi shot. Um, let's get crit chance first, right? Yeah, I'll be fine. What if multi shot weakens my explosives on my gun? Neon scythe, no XP gain. Let's just max out XP gain. I saw in the top right corner of the cards at two out of five. So once you get five, like you're done with it. I'm feeling pretty confident here in the early game. Let's plan for the late game. Uh, secondary uh, stats, secondary. Let's get to uh, crit chance. I feel like teleport. It's almost like an improved pulse that require more skill to use those. Oh boy, yeah, we're we're a woman in there all giving us like a grouped up big boys. Yeah, this is definitely a harder arena for harder arena for sure. Uh let's get uh, more crit chance. Sure. Oh, we definitely want to break these things. Those are very important to break for uh, our stuff later. XP gain, yes. Well, I feel like we're, they are kind of scaling in difficulty here. Oh, we're doing alright though. Set my little perimeter of mines and chill inside of it. Neon Scythe. Um, yeah, Neon Scythe I think is useful. Although I don't remember it saving my life entirely last run. Every little bit helps, I guess. Maybe it's not that great. Maybe I overvalue it, perhaps. It's around here. XP and gain, yes. We're like doing great. It's phase three already, and we're just like, aside from these big boys over here, not feeling super challenged. These are the ones that drop these things. I noticed that before, but I didn't mention it. I need that broken, to be so kind. My side did just help me there. Um, overclock, safeguard. Let's get to overclock so everything shoots faster, right? Oh, we unlocked the dull Reaper Synergy. Okay. An additional redraw. I don't worry about that, but whatever. Um, we'll get ourselves the neon side damage increase. Well, I feel like a two damage increase isn't particularly substantial, but we'll take it. So apparently this arena is much better for farming crystal since you get these guys so early. Okay. Hard arena, but better for farming. Uh, listen. Listen, I see why you need to get that uh, movement speed up. I feel like once I get good in this arena, the next last arena will be easy. Pulse, overclock, bullet spread. Mmm. Overclock. Help the cooldown. Maybe I can go with torpedoes this run. 
Uh, listen, you speedy individuals. It's definitely a harder arena here. I see this game getting crazy hard. I guess you can do it at your own pace. You could keep farming the first arena if you want for more stuff. Overclock, multi-shot. Overclock. Overclock. What if that makes my bullets, my default bullets, shoot faster too? I don't even know. I have no idea. Listen, you speedy friends. I need you to calm it down. I think they exploded on my thing there. Listen. I need that. Thank you. Oh, Neon Scythe, Teleport Safeguard, Neon Scythe. There we go, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We're leveling nicely. Where's the rest of my, like, uh, X XP upgrade cards, huh? What if it really matters at all about collecting the XP for, ouch. Um, Torpedoes, Multi-Shot, Infliction, yes. Infliction's good. Overall damage increase is good. I do have, a uh, regeneration, so I will slowly regenerate health. It's like, oh, you're new. That's cool. I like that, not very. It wasn't that tough, but it's cool. I like ah, chill. Listen with the speedy triangles with the trails of doom. Neon scythe, multi shots. Maybe I should like maybe I'm overvaluing the neon scythe. That's kind of pretty cool. It's like a, it's, it's like a big version of the already big speedy ones. I like it. I like it. This thing for the most part. Oh, what are the bosses gonna be? I like for the most part, it's all about like speedy boys with no projectiles. Shrieking safeguard overclock, overclock. Where are those XP cards, though? Well, I feel like I'm getting to the point where I need to, like, skip the XP cards if, regardless get damaged, right? Alright. We're doing fine, though. We're doing great and wonderful things and feeling... Oh, chill, 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 chill. Oh, my God! Listen, we can talk about this. We can talk about all the things. Uh, teleport torpedoes. Crit chance. Crit chance is actually, like, I think really solid, especially with all my... Like, yeah, crit chance when you have explos explosives seems really good. Seems really good. Um, bullet spread. I, mean, I like having bullet spread, actually. Crit chance, yes. They want the teleport. Thought I want that. Well, thank you. I need to get this. These are the good boys. Yes. Make me strong outside of the runs. Love to see it. Another one, huh? So generous. Destroy it. Give it to me. Nice. Um, Shriekins. I guess we'll get torpedoes. Um,. Actually, let's see how crazy Shriekens can get if you just really go deep on them. If they actually get crazy by the end. Right now, these kind of like shoot one here and there in random directions. If they home, I bet if the Shriekens like homed in on enemies, like they'd be really good, but just kind of like random. Listen, I need your sweet, sweet crystals. Additional redraw, that was fast. XP range, I mean, I'll take it. I feel like that we all might click their XP though. Multi shots, infliction, infliction. Always go in infliction for the sweet, sweet damage. That's, oh, two, man. Yeah, they're being really generous here with these, huh? Really generous. Look, chill out, my bros. Take it easy. Just want to have a lovely little conversation with you. They're really scaling dip the dip difficulty here, huh? Uh, multi shot safeguard pulse. Multi shots. More shots. A bit. You'll have more damage overall, though, because you, know, you lose 20% damage or whatever it is. You gain. Uh, a, like a, an extra shot, you know, it's, it's a net gain by of a substantial amount. And with the bullet spread, it kind of helps for if your aim's not so great, right? Oh, listen, I need you to take it easy. Mm, multi shot, yeah. Uh, I kind of wish, like, once I had my secondary picked, like, I've, I've already I've selected the burst as my secondary, so I don't really need to be cut like that last option there I had two secondaries to choose from no need two secondaries I already have one what what did I take damage from who's there am I tripping I don't remember there being anybody there I guess we're going crazy we are just busting up cheeks though I'll tell you that um torpedoes overclock overclock yes look at that shrinking amped up see how good that gets right the inside that thing's all right and sometimes it's mostly useless, but sometimes it'll protect you from uh, an enemy that gets too close if you're not paying attention. You should save your life it's here and there. For those of us who are not the most attentive when we play our games, we tend to mentally check out and talk about other things. Oh, easy, big guys. Damage feels pretty good. Take this stuff out here. Man, the, the like... I think the crystal damaged me. I'm too close to it. Um, Shriekins. Decreases the cooldown rates. I don't know how much damage it does, it's mostly missing, but it's there. So if I get too close to these things, like the ricochet from my shots damage me on those, so don't shoot those too close, I think. That's what we're looking, uh, looking at. So apparently power crystals get pretty, yeah, yeah, I think, I think it's if you're too close to those uh, power crystals. 
Maybe that's the regeneration? I don't know. XP range card doubles your XP range. I feel like it all gets automatically picked up anyways, right? Ooh, speedster. Is that like a new enemy unlock, maybe? Oh no, that's probably like a new... That's like a new uh, thing I can use. Nice. Pulse XP range doubles your XP range. Hmm. Just get infliction. I don't feel like... I feel like we pick it all up eventually, right? I feel like it all gets picked up regardless, so... What's the point of it? Like, but I feel like once, like, maybe it's, maybe it doesn't all get picked up. It's like, it automatically picks up after like a few seconds if you're within range. I don't know. I'm not sure quite how that works, but I, I don't really feel like picking up an X, picking up my XP is like a real issue for me. Listen, I need you guys to calm it down. Yeah, every time I, every time I damage one of those crystals, I feel like I take a little bit of damage. Maybe it's just the act of breaking the general that hurts me. Teleport, save card, shriekins, increase damage by two. Oh. Oh ye, shriekings of great missing. Run phase infinity. So this uh this uh arena doesn't actually have a boss. I feel like that's a missed opportunity. I feel like every arena should have a boss. I guess that guy's like your closest thing to a boss. And this game's still, I'm sure it's still being worked on, right? Work in progress. There'll be more added. It's also only a four dollar game. It's not like we paid. It's not like we paid sixty bucks for it. Excuse me. But I think for what it is, it's actually pretty fun and enjoyable. Here we go. I see you there, big guy. Listen, I need to make it a ten minute mark. You're making that difficult. XP range, Neon Scythe. Sure. Now, why is my hit point so low? What the heck? Did I take damage? Also, why did I gain so much hit points back all of a sudden? I'm so confused. I'm so confused by the little red bar below me. You guys are getting a... I don't... It doesn't... This hard, the 8 minute mark? I don't... Oh my god, I don't think... I don't think, I don't think this is the run, man. I don't think this is the run at all. I want that, but like, good luck getting it, right? You gotta try it all right? I mean, just one speedster ship unlocked. Let's go, dude. Agility base, very fragile. Regeneration, nice. Uh, multi shot pulse. It guard. Multi shot? Synergy available, dual reaper. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means, synergy available, dual reaper. What do you What do you mean, synergy available? Is that something I had to, like, click on and use or pick up? Maybe it's something to do with my scythe? Oh, need to, like, scratch my face there. I want to pick these. I'm trying to get around with these little. Crystals I'm missing everywhere, but I can't seem to do it. These guys are getting faster, I feel like. Oh my god. Maybe I left my other realm too soon. I broke that crystal there. You guys are not kidding. Split shot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jeez, it gets real tough. Okay. That's fine. They'll accept our fate. And love to see it. I bet we can go back and win that first one now. Especially if we unlock something. Um, not sure what this. That's my level, I think. Okay. Store. Um, hmm. We got, uh, we've got enough for a green one. I can uh, increase my regeneration. Um, 0.1 hit points every second. Upgrade. 0.15. It's, it's an improvement. I'll take it. Okay. Let's go back to the first area and actually beat this one with our improved stats. And actually try out the new, uh, the new boy here. Speedster. That's the extremely fast ship that excels in mobility-based combat. It has less hit points. No regeneration. Double the speed of the duster. Dash is better too by 20%. Damage is. Ooh, it's a lot less damage though. But it has uh, half the cooldown, so it shoots faster. Lifetime doesn't doesn't stay in there as much. Okay. Let's pick um give it better speed, give it a better generation, and give it a better damage. Give it a shot, right? We'll see. Holy crap. Oh my god. But it's like it's like short range. I'm so fast. It's like too fast, honestly. <laughs> I feel like this amount of speed on this early level is a bit unnecessary. Um some infliction for damage. This holy crap, this is this is ridiculous. I feel like for like the next level this might actually be pretty good, but for here, it's a bit overkill. <laughs> I guess that's why you're supposed to have beaten this level before you unlocked it, right? Alright, uh, I want to improve its range, though. Uh, damage. Yeah. It's damage up, because it's kind of lacking in the damage department. But shoots so fast. This is just, like... Like, just unnecessarily fast for this level. <laughs> the lack of range, though, on the, on the bullets, though. I don't, I don't love the fact that its bullets don't go very far. Bullet spread, infliction. Get more, uh, infliction. I feel like infliction is a must-take, generally speaking. Crit chance thing's actually pretty good, too. Oh, this start is just so slow and easy and boring now compared to the other level. 
Uh, if we gotta get to 10 minutes mark on the XP gain, I'll take it. We gotta hit the 10 minute mark on this. I feel like the, the duster's gonna be really useful in the late game. I bet I can, at, at, at the 8 minute mark, I can just like hold to the left, just like, dodge everything. Just be untouchable. An untouchable monster. There's like, what can you do about it? What can you do? Explosives. Nice. Yes. What can you do about this? The whole thing about it, like, it's kind of weird to give yourself, like, you have more speed, but you're kind of lacking on the range of your weapon, so you need to, like, get, you, you're so fast, but you have to stay close because you just don't, like, you're, look, that's how far your bolts go. Don't even reach the edge, edge of the screen. Um, crit's actually pretty solid. Most games, crit is like a crit chance, kind of like a joke upgrade, but in this game, it's actually pretty solid. Like, the rate of crits is actually substantial. Shriekens did not impress me, but you know what? We'll, we'll try to get, and we'll try to actually fully upgrade them this time and see. Maybe they get like bonkers once they're like maxed out, upgraded, right? Man, it feels so zippy. I mean, it does feel good. I'll just be zipping around all fast, like. Um, bullet spread, XP range, uh, crit chance, yes. Crit chance. I feel like a lot of these cards are kind of like, why would I ever even want them? Like, stuff gets picked up regardless. Um, Shriekins, uh, let's go Shriekins first, although I might regret it if we fall behind in our DPS, huh? Go get him, Shriekins. Just kind of shooting out at random there, huh? Maybe we don't go Burst Mines this time. The thing is, would I go instead? I could try to teleport out, just to see. Be a good YouTuber to actually showcase the different upgrades, even if they're not optimal, kind of thing. It's easy to forget, I'm actually trying to, like, entertain people here. I'm just chilling in my room playing a game. Repeal Shriekins. Get the XP gain first, though. Gotta think of the long term. I want that XP gain maxed out and early and pay for itself by the time we hit the 10-minute mark, right? Hopefully. Not sure how the math max that work out. More interested in chilling and vibing than trying to do hard maths. XP gain, baby. Those quick, sweet, fast levels. The explosive upgrade in the bullet is quite good. Regeneration cards could be good, too, although I have regeneration built in with my module. Teleport, pulse, multi-shots. Yes. Multi-shot, here comes the big boys. Only one, though. It's, it's like this arena is so easy compared to the last one. That's good, though. It means uh, the game, like, you can tailor the challenge to your own level. If you like an intense challenge, just pick the hardest arena available and go in with, like, no modules or whatever. If you like it easy, stack up modules, go for easy arenas. Just, you can tailor it to just exactly what you like. And that's good. If you want to warm up, I'm like, oh, I, I, I've been playing this game for 10 hours, I got all the upgrades, and I'm super strong, but you know what? I'm feeling chill today, I want to vibe. Just go to the, pick some strong upgrades, power modules, and go to the first arena, and just chill and vibe. If you want to challenge, the harder stuff, it's great. Multi-shot, safeguard, infliction, damage. I like that, that you can, like, kind of tailor your experience to what you're looking for. I think for four bucks, this is actually, like, a pretty, pretty fun, uh, fun purchase. Pretty good vibe. I do try to pick, when I actually buy games for the channel, like, you know, no demos, no free games, but actual games I'm spending money for, I specifically try to put, pick games that I actually think I will enjoy. And I guess right this time. Pulse, safeguard, overclock. Overclocking, baby. Shooting faster. Oh, oh, what's the matter, guys? Am I faster than you? Am I faster than you? Oh, that's so sad for you. Imagine being this slow. <laughs> Imagine being that slow. That's, that's so sad for you. Oh, imagine not being fast enough to catch up to the guy you're trying to hunt down, even near the fastest units that there is on this level. That's just be toxic CG. Don't talk to the AI. Uh, is it even, it's not even AI. Is it even AI? I don't know. I mean, like, there's some kind of, like, coding here. Get these things, like, follow me around. It's actually pretty good coding at that. Quite responsive to my movements. Um, pulse, overclock, XP range. You know what? Fine, I'll get it just so you stop offering it. Okay, are you happy? This, this useless XP range card. I mean, I automatically pick it all up anyways. My damage is lacking. I'm like, I'm on the struggle bus to take these guys out. I need to like, get something better going here. Yeah, look how I just take one of those guys out. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem real quick, actually. I feel like the Shriek was a poor choice. Oh, here comes the Dreadnought. Although, it's gonna be easy to shoot. Uh, Shriekens, damage by two. Fine. I'm, I'm investing too much in the Shriek and it's gonna cost me the run and feel. Ouch. Alright. Look, they have regeneration, so that's good. Good luck hitting me there, big guy. Should shift my change direction back. I'm here. Damage is doing okay to, like, mess them up a bit, huh? Shift back. So 
Yes. Yeah, good luck hitting me there, big guy. Oh, oh that's a problem from behind, though. Oh. And that is the end of the dreadnought. There we go. Not so bad. Did you drop some goodies for me? Surely you did. Yeah, that's what I thought. Give me that crystal. Teleport, multi shot, overclock. Uh, multi shot. I need to. Here's a problem. I'm a little bit behind on damage. I'm. I want my crystals. Oh, I'm so busy folks and aiming at the crystal. I'm missing out on the fact this guy's behind me hitting me. Luckily, we have regeneration. We need this. Safeguard crit chance. Crit chance. It will help with our DPS. We are so desperately lack Desperately? Desperately lacky. Where the there's a crystal. Look, where the crystals go? Infliction is no. Shriekins. I want these shriekins to be clapping cheeks. Just absolutely devastating them. Can I have you guys be gone so I can get that crystal? Give. You're making this rather difficult. Unnecessarily so. I feel like our damage is doing better. Torpedo safeguard, split shot. Yes. Reducing fire rate. My fire rate's already insane. There we go, got that crystal. Regen card, increases regenerate by two hit points. That's pretty good, actually. Brawler, neat. Multi shots, burst mines. A bit late for you guys, huh? Who get them? Multi shot. A bit late. We can work on a shriek, in which I still feel is possibly a poor life choice. I want this crystal. You guys can stop defending it. As long as we're dropping crystals fast, I can, like, break them, right? Um. I remember I can. Oh, I can, I can, I can redraw cards. XP gain. It's a bit late, but we'll get it. I should have redrawn early to, like, increase my chance to get the XP gain cards, right? You know, sweet, sweet power crystal upgrades. I need them. Really dropping quite a lot of these things, huh? Excuse me, gentle creatures. I require these goods. No, we're doing fine off a neon scythe. Oh, speak of the devil. Uh, crit chance. No secondary, no scythe. Just doing great. I feel like there is more crystals around here. Did I break them already? These guys are tanky, though. Oh my god, oh my god. Let's chill, 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 chill. You guys are tough boys, huh? Alright, let's get a little bit... Or phase 11. Wait a second, was there only... Weren't there only 10 phases before? Am I tripping? Do they add more phases as I level up? Pretty cool, actually. Uh, crit chance, yes. That's actually a great way to up our damage, rather. I mean, my, I swear there's one more crystal left somewhere. Maybe, like, my split shot got it? I don't even know. Oops. I glance over to look at the time of the recording, see how long I've been recording for. Pretty bad idea in a game like this, actually. Um, check the in-between runs. Just wondering if I should... This is going to be our last run for the video, or what? Um, now we check. Yeah, it's pro this is probably the last run for the video. Split shot, pulse, burst mines, split shot. Let's see how far we can get without the pulse mines, Liz, and... Or the burst mines. Pulse mines? Burst mines? Oh my god. Oh, it's, okay, it's... It's getting dicey, like, we're fast. We need to, like, move less. Okay. That way I know where I'm moving to. Okay, guys, I need you to chill it out. Chill it down. Uh, torpedoes. Sure. Maybe it'll help out a little bit. Perhaps? I feel like I want- I feel like I want the torpedoes to have better homing. Maybe that's an upgrade we unlock later. Brawler. I kind of like this, this thing where, like, you level up in the run and you also, like, unlock new things. You can see, like, I'm actively working to unlock, you know, the next thing there. That's pretty cool. I like that. I, I can see my progress in-game to what this next unlock is in between runs. Um, it also affects in-run, too. Uh, infliction, yes. I think it's pretty cool. It seems like a pretty well-designed game. I like it. I wonder how uh, long it takes to, like, quote-unquote, like, beat it. Uh, excuse me, guys. You need to chill. Like, pushing those things to me. These are very important to get. That's how I get strong power modules. We want that. We want all of this. I'm not sure I even need the regeneration module now that I'm gonna like have the option to get cards that have regeneration. Like, yeah. Um, let's get torpedoes. I guess you can like customize your builds. Alright, this there, we're going no, no regeneration or power modules, so let's let's uh save up for uh we'll get the regeneration in the run itself. And use all damage modules or something. You only get five modules, so you gotta pick and choose, right? Seems pretty cool. Uh, I think it's pretty five. Brawler card. Uh Enemies deal 25% less damage, but I couldn't see it since it didn't stay up there long enough. Let's have it stay up there for an extra, like, 10 or seconds or something. Give me time to actually read what I unlocked, you know? Um, power crystals. Oh, are we just going to get more power crystals? Or is that, like, unlocking... I guess, is it, like, going to increase the drop rate or drop true per? Brawler, here it is. Enemies deal less damage, but lowers mobility by 5%. I've got insane mobility, so let's actually go for that. Move speed minus 2.2. Like, that's nothing. Yeah, yeah, like, reducing their damage by 25%. I'm still crazy fast, and yeah, that's... 
with the speedster brawlers where it's at, you're more likely to accidentally bump somebody because of how stinking fast you are. It's like I have too much mobility with this guy, at least for this arena. Maybe on other arenas, the extra speed will be nice. Pretty cool, though. I'm curious to see what other uh, types of boys we're going to lock. There's going to be some, like, some, some tough tanky boys, I bet, right? Like, there'll be like a slow one that's got like, insane attacks. Or if one of them will have like a homing attack, that'd be kind of dope. Hmm, brawler. Uh, takes down 1.9. Yeah, yeah. Increase my eyes. Oh my god. It's because we might accidentally bump in people. Or if you get to the point where like they do so little damage. Like if you can stack like all their generation cards and stack the fully maxed out regeneration module. See, you took damage there. Can you make the point where you actually like re regenerate hit points faster than they can deal to you? At least in the first arena. We kind of need to test out and see. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, I'm just going to chill here and vibe out and destroy your sweet, sweet booty cheeks. Get more of these little modules. Here's some luck. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, I need to like shoot forward my way out of here. Um, torpedoes. Oh, I never did max my Shriekens. I think Shriekens are just kind of like booty. Yeah, Shriekens are terrible. Never go Shriek. Shriekens. They like, just, they miss most of the time. I mean, like, it's kind of like like just like trying to stay alive. I'm gonna shoot this way, just head this way. They can't even catch up with me. I can stay alive the 10 minute mark just by doing this. And here we go, just like that, we stay alive. A hey, achievement unlocked the abyss. And the question is, do we keep going? Or like till we die? Or do we like just let ourselves die and go check out our sweet sweet upgrades? Because I feel like I could stay alive for a very, very long time just moving like this. Maybe I could yeah, maybe we like don't do that as much. I wouldn't mind unlocking the power crystals before we like intentionally let ourselves go. Speaking of which, I, oh, there's a there's a lot of you over there, huh? Uh, getting to the point where I'm like, I can't kill them fast enough. My DPS not quite there. Yet. They're really they're sneaking up so aggressively on you with my speed. Though I can stay alive for it seems like a very long time. Get them, boys. Get, I want to at least get these crystals unlocked before we die, right? I feel like I can stay alive forever doing this, right? So I get sloppy and take damage from behind. I can just kind of like dodge them. Bullets, our levels up have really slowed down, I noticed. Uh, overclock, yeah. Overclock would be good, right? There we go, we're chilling. Oh my god, chill. I just now realized the color of your bullets are the same color as your vehicle. The pull, my, my bullets were a different color than the last guy. Oh my goodness. I want... Power crystals receive out receive five x of each power crystal. I'll pretend like I died there on purpose, even though I didn't. All right, so we'll accept our fate here. Um, Blast Recon next. So now we'll get every time we break a power crystal, we get five instead of one. I think is what that said. Let's take a look at it. Um, I don't want to spoil these next things. Uh, receive five x of each. Oh, I see. It just gives you some free power crystals. Yeah, I'd rather it like increase the. Yeah, I mean, getting 5 each is fine. I'd rather have this upgrade make it so, like, when a power crystal drops, you know, I, like, get bonus power crystals for breaking. Like, you know, you start off getting one power crystal per drop. Now, when you break it, you get two per thing. I mean, five free of each is nice, but I'd rather, like, have it persist more than a one-time bonus thing. I'm not sure I even need to bother continuing to upgrade regeneration since they actually have, um, they have, uh, like regeneration cards. I can skip that if need be. Stun, meh. Um, steals hit points. It's a similar concept to, to this. Um, safeguard. Increase your ship starting armor by 10. Might be fine, I guess. A little extra protecting damage. I like how the music gets quiet when I click that. Um, eyesight. Increase your ship's viewing range by 1.1. I mean, that might help, especially in the fast ones. Increase your ship's movement and dash speed. I think for my. My speedy boy, that's kind of a waste. Increase ship XP. I feel like that might be pretty solid. Um, I feel like XP range is almost just not even needed. XP gain, though, could be a pretty solid one to have. And uh, down here, more infliction is probably pretty good. Range, um, overclock, adds one pierce. That's that's probably also good. Remember, I got five uh, slots we can use. And uh, I think that's where we're going to end the video. Smash that like button if you like Neon Sundown and you want to see more of it on this channel. Let's go.